Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. Welcome to the Fox 17 Rock and Review. I'm so thrilled to have the incredible Jimmy Carter, also known as the Jimster, and uh, the leader of the Blind Boys of Alabama. And you've been uh, with them for 70 years, Jimmy. I've been, I've been, I've been here a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Spreading the gospel and, and, and incredible vocals and songs. I wanted to bring up yeah, you and the guys, uh, and you and Clarence now, uh, have five Grammys. You've got a Lifetime Achievement Award and a uh, Gospel Music Hall of Fame Award. That's correct, yeah. And, and uh, you know, just all of the great music you've made. And, and when I got to see you at the Americana Fest a few years ago, but you've got a brand new album out, Almost Home. Almost Home is on, is on the Amazon label. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, you have to get it, you know, get it, get it, get it uh, through through Amazon. That's, That's where everybody needs to buy a copy of it. Because I'm I'm telling you what, Jimmy, I, I've listened to this album a lot before I had you on the show, and uh, it really holds true. And as you were saying earlier on our news interview, kind of telling the story of of the life that you and Clarence had. That's correct. That's what it's doing. Uh, we were we were interviewed by some people and. Uh, and the, these these interviews these interviews were submitted to songwriters, and the songwriters took these some of our quotes and wrote songs from them. Wow! It was, it was and, amazing. And from the amazing. stories of yeah. your life. That's right. Yeah. And so you know what I understood is that you basically had 50 songs come to the Blind Boys of Alabama to potentially be on this album, correct? Yeah, and it go, we, we narrowed them all down to 12. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably not an easy thing to do, you know? I mean, how incredible. Yeah, it was, it was, it was amazing. Well, you know, one of the songs that really touched me, uh, you know, Let My Mother Live, and I know that one really speaks to you as, as with the history with your mother. Do you want to tell us about that, Well, Jimmy? yeah, you know, when I, when I, when I first went, went to school, the school was not... Uh, it was, it was, it was, it, it, it had a lot to be desired when mm -hmm. I first went up there. And that was the blind school that you went to in Alabama when you were That's little. correct, yeah, in Talladega. And, uh, I used to pray, you know, to, to God to let my mother live till I get grown, to see me through all of that stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And he didn't only let her live till I got grown. He let her live till she got 103 years old. 103. So she lived, uh, you know, just passed away in 2009. That's right, yeah. And so she got to see a lot of your success and everything. You did. That's amazing. <laughs> it's such a touching song. And then Almost Home, I think, is, is kind of uh, speaking to Clarence Fountain's uh, youth as well, right? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, you know, we are, you know we've, been, we've been here a long time, so... We're almost home now. We, we, we don't have too much further to go. Well, I, I, I hope further still, you know, especially, you know, with 103 with your mother, you should, you know, you've got 20 more years. Jimmy. I think I got her genes. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I was telling you, I've been listening to this song, you know, all of your songs in my car so much. And another favorite is I Can See, you know, which, which is very heartfelt. And then uh, singing brings us closer and obviously stay on the gospel side, which the blind boys of Alabama are, are known for really bringing depth to these gospel songs. That's right. We, 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 we started out, and we were determined no matter how rough it got, we weren't, we weren't going to deviate from that. And we, we, we've, kept, we've kept our wood. You know, we've had setbacks, but we're still here. It's, it's amazing, and, and still <laughs> touring and, and recording. And I wanted to bring up, uh, when you were little and you first started playing with the Blind Boys, um, Originally, your mother wouldn't let you go on tour without somebody with you, correct? Yeah, she wouldn't let me go at all. She would, yeah, she, she wouldn't. She, she, no, you can't go. <laughs> she, she was very protective of me, you know. <laughs> with good reason, you know. How incredible! So, so would she go out on tour with you, or how did that work out? No, she, she, she really. What, what, what really, really happened? Uh, she made me go back to school for, for, ah. for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, now, when, when you were in school, is that where you really started singing and that's getting the where, harmonies? That's where we met up at. Uh, see, this, this, this school was, 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 was a little, in a little town in Alabama, and uh, all of the blind children that got an education came to that school. Mm -hmm. So we just, you know, we got, we got to, we, we learned one another, we, 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 we got to know one another, and we, and we found out that we could sing together, and right. the rest is history. You know, and, and what's amazing, Jimmy, is that you, you and, and the band have traveled the world 
with the Blind Boys of Alabama, still spreading the gospel and, and, and recording. And, and, you know, you and I were talking earlier before we came to the studio to where uh, Mark Cohn is also involved with you on this. Mark Cohn, yeah, Mark Cohn wrote, wrote he, he, he and John Leventhal wrote three of the songs on it, and he's, he's very much involved. Right, and then you've even got one Bob Dylan song on here. Well, yeah, we got, well, we got two. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, we got... Yeah, we no, just one. I, I shall be released. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that's incredible. Well, I'll tell you what. You know, the the album is just amazing. I love the cover of it. Anytime I've gotten to to see and hear you guys, it, it's always a treat with your incredible harmonies and you really bring. You know, you you feel the vocals, you feel the lyrics as you do them. Well, you know, we we have a we have a see that the blind boys have a have a message that we want to leave with the people in in uh. In order to do that, we have to, you know, what 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 comes from the heart reaches the heart, mm -hmm. and so we, we try to convey all the way we feel. We want you to feel the same way. Well, I think you've accomplished it in this new album. <laughs> it uh, there's so many touching songs on here, and and like I was telling Jimmy earlier too, there's there's not a bad track on here, but almost home. I mean, it it, it speaks to uh, to all of us. I think. You know, as, as we are seeking, and, and it's the name of this new album, available on Amazon Original. It's Blind Boys of Alabama. Pick up a copy and be sure and see uh, Jimmy Carter on tour with the Blind Boys of Alabama. It's always going to be a treat, right, Jimmy? That's correct. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, my friend. All right. Fox 17 Rock and Review. Pick up a copy. Blind Boys of Alabama, almost home. Thank you. <laughs> Musicians Institute Guitar Craft Program, sponsor of Fox 17 Rock and Review. 